Is the drug hydroxychloroquine not yet recommended to cure COVID-19 because it is being held back for more testing? And is a coronavirus vaccine going to be rushed for immediate human injection before adequate studies can be performed? These claims are both false and true. First, the FDA has warned against use of hydrochloroquine with COVID-19 patients because of severe risks, including death. Second, there is a rush for a new vaccine to treat the novel coronavirus, but there is no mention of immediate human injection. The claims appear over a photo of National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases Director Anthony Fauci in a post published on Facebook on April 28, 2020, with following text, quote, Just because thousands of independent doctors are saying that hydroxychloroquine cures CV-19 patients, is not valid until we have a major study done. As soon as the CV-19 vaccine is manufactured, it must immediately be delivered to healthcare professionals worldwide for immediate human injection. Proper studies can be performed later, end quote. This is what the post looked like on Facebook at the time of writing, the first claim is false. Hydroxychloroquine is not being held back but is readily available by prescription to treat the symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis, as well as lupus and malaria. Yet the FDA did issue a warning late last month against using the drug to treat the novel coronavirus, because it has caused serious heart rhythm problems in patients with COVID-19. Oftentimes, these were coronavirus patients treated with hydroxychloroquine or chloroquine in combination with azithromycin. The FDA states, quote, we would like to remind health care professionals and patients of the known risks associated with both hydroxychloroquine and chloroquine. Hydroxychloroquine and chloroquine have not been shown to be safe and effective for treating or preventing COVID-19. End quote. Also, according to an Associated Press story from April 22, 2020, quote, A malaria drug widely touted by President Donald Trump for treating the new coronavirus showed no benefit in a large analysis of its use in U.S. veterans' hospitals. There were more deaths among those given hydroxychloroquine versus standard care, researchers reported. The nationwide study was not a rigorous experiment. But with 368 patients, it's the largest look so far of hydroxychloroquine with or without the antibiotic azithromycin for COVID-19. End quote. The Facebook posts claim that thousands of doctors prefer hydrochloroquine has made the rounds for months. It appears to come from an international survey of over 6,000 doctors, in which a majority of those who have treated coronavirus patients ranked hydroxychloroquine, the most effective therapy, from a list of 15 options. That survey was conducted by Sermo, a chat room for doctors. But a closer look reveals that is not true. Given a choice of anti-HIV drugs, cough medications, compassionate use of experimental drugs, vitamin D, zinc tablets and nothing, U.S. doctors' top answer, with 51%, was nothing. Still, what is slow is the official green light process by top health officials to use a drug to battle COVID-19. It is not unusual for a medication to take a while to win the respect of health experts. Studies must be done to make sure that hydroxychloroquine, or any other drug, actually does what it is supposed to do. And that takes time. The Post joins many others suggesting that the government is keeping a cure from people. According to the FDA, quote, FDA approval of a drug means that data on the drug's effects have been reviewed by CDER, and the drug is determined to provide benefits that outweigh its known and potential risks for the intended population. The drug approval process takes place within a structured framework. Although many of the FDA's risk-benefit assessments and decisions are straightforward, sometimes the benefits and risks are uncertain and may be difficult to interpret or predict. The agency and the drug maker may reach different conclusions after analyzing the same data, or there may be differences of opinion among members of the FDA's review team. As a science-led organization, FDA uses the best scientific and technological information available to make decisions through a deliberative process. End quote. However, the FDA, on May 1, did approve the use of the antiviral drug remdesivir, as it has shown modest results in clinical trials against the coronavirus. Remdesivir has been tested on rhesus monkeys with 100% success. If it performs well in human trials, it will be labeled an at-risk vaccine, Fauci told Guthrie, and it will be mass-produced. 
This means the vaccine might not give protection, and that it needs more study, but it also might work, and people will have been inoculated successfully. <laughs>